Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Adrian Ramos, and I'm the AARP Maryland Program Specialist. And I'm here with Chef Christine Van Bloom. Um, and today we are celebrating and appreciating um, Hispanic Heritage Month by what are we making today, Christine? Okay, so now you have to remember, I don't have a drop of that glorious Latino blood in me, so I'm doing mm -hmm. my best with it. No, it's We're okay. We're going to do a picadillo, um, which is a Cuban dish, which nice. do you know picadillo? Yeah, picadillo, yeah, yep. Yeah, nice. I love it. Yeah, I love it's it. really it's good. It's so good. And then mm -hmm. we're going to do kind of a cheater empanada. So we're not going to make our empanada dough with the, oh, the lard and all the gloriousness mm -hmm. that makes an empanada so fantastic. But I'm going to show just a little cheat that you can do with it if you want to go that way. But with fall coming now, finally, um, this is actually a great dish. And it freezes really well. And you can make it pretty healthy not mm -hmm. necessarily as traditional, but pretty healthy using a lot of the same flavors and techniques. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and get us rocking and rolling, if that's okay. Of course. Yeah, please do. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. So I have my little uh, stunt frying pan over here, my saute pan. And we're nice. going to start, by, of course, sauteing some onion because that's the greatest of all the greats. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to let that get going. But... I'm going to add in right now, even a little bit of diced, well, minced really jalapeno. And you can kick this up, but do not leave it out because it mm -hmm. really adds so much good flavor. Just because somebody adds jalapeno doesn't mean it has to be hot, right? Right. You can mm -hmm. get all that yummy flavor from it. And of course, some garlic because mm -hmm. boy, do I love garlic. Same. Mm -hmm. So, well, I've got what's the dish that. without garlic? Say it again. I said, I said, what's a dish without garlic, right? Yeah, you got it. You got yeah. it. So mm -hmm. we just want to get it nice and fragrant and get that onion right. kind of soft, get mm -hmm. it going. And it already, I wish you could be here because it smells so good it already. Must, yeah. So yeah, it must. <laughs> we're going to mm -hmm. let it just soften a bit. And hey, don't forget that right. if you start cooking the, the jalapenos and you're really sensitive to it, you're gonna use a little bit of oil. It can be olive or veg, it doesn't really matter. But um, the capsaicin in it, the spicy stuff, is oil soluble, but not water soluble. Mm -hmm. So I always keep a little bottle of oil in my kitchen, like a little squeeze bottle. And cool. I just put a little on my hands and then use the soap and water and it helps take it right off. If you're doing more than two, I would actually put some gloves on just to okay. be safe. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Yeah. Now, do you know, do you know some of the funny, I say funny, but some of the traditional mm -hmm. ingredients in this dish, do you know um, some I, of the things I, that make it special? I, I was looking at some, I was looking at the recipe earlier. And, um, so my, I, I did see that you add a teaspoon of ground cinnamon or a cinnamon stick. Yeah. I thought it was pretty yeah, interesting. It, it is. And we're going to add some Granny Smith apple to it as well. Mm -hmm. So some okay. people get a little, when I was a personal chef all those years ago, mm -hmm. I remember some people were like, no fruit with meat. And I was like, okay, whatever your jam mm -hmm. is. But this mm -hmm. dish, this apple, and you see, I'm going to use a Granny Smith. I'm not even going to use like a sweet apple. I'm mm -hmm. going to use um, a tart apple. It adds so much good flavor to this. And um, we'll actually end up putting raisins in as well, mm -hmm. which is crazy to me. Right. But we're just going to let this cook. I'm going to mm -hmm. slice up this apple a bit. Nice. All righty. So we've no. got olives. Mm -hmm. We've got apples. We've got cinnamon. We're going to mm -hmm. add some slivered almonds to the whole shebang then. Nice. Yeah, it's not. It's a great dish. It's so. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think that um, everybody loves an enchilada or a taco, right? Mm -hmm. We all kind of peg all of our Latin dishes into that mm -hmm. area, right. and I mm -hmm. think there's so many. Gosh, so many cool, amazing, wonderful dishes. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah, I could. I I could agree, and I can also attest to that. 
you know, like my, yeah. so I'm, I'm of Hispanic descent. I'm Dominican and Puerto Rican. Oh. And yeah. And, um, so my grandma actually, before I, I went to go visit them two, three weeks ago, and yeah. before I left, my grandma gifted me like a frozen Tupperware of empanadas to, to <gasps> grill for myself, to fry for myself. And it was, it, it didn't have as many, um, ingredients as this, but it's just because it's a different type of empanada, but, um, yeah, yeah, like empanadas, like Ugh. you know, e even the dishes that involve rice and beans and things like that. Yeah. Like you know, there's like pollo guisado, which is like I think it's like it's like grilled chicken. It's like a form of grilled chicken, but seasoned a different way, and like it's really good. Um, but yeah, so uh, all that to I... say, there's a bunch of different options. Oh my gosh, there's so many good options. It's really fun. I, I like I said, I know we all get in that taco frame of mind and tacos, mm -hmm. I mean, they're delicious, but empanadas and I love you say it so beautifully. I say it like a no, you say well. plant from Pennsylvania. Oh, no, you say well, you say well. Yeah. And there's also so, a lot of good stews, like which is, which is what pollo guisado is, it's like like a, like a stew type thing. Yeah. There's a bunch of different and like, like, especially probably when you take a bite of one of these empanadas, it's going to be like a flavor blast. Of a bunch of different things. Yes, it is. I love that yeah. flavor blast. Yeah, yeah. I'm really taking you up flavors. on that, Adrian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's what food's about. That's what food's about. You want to have is. an experience. Yeah, you want to have an experience. It is. And mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I just think there's so much cool food out there. I am so into um, everything right now. All the foods. I want to try everything at all times. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make my poor cardiologist crazy. <laughs> All right, so I just added a little bit of ground beef. Now you can go with a really um, low fat percentage on the ground beef if you want. If you're trying to watch, you know, watch what you're doing, keep things a little healthy, you could use a nonstick pan mm -hmm. and then you can cut your oil back just ever so slightly. You, you'll only need a teeny, teeny bit. Um, but we're gonna let this kind of do it simmering. Uh, lower fat ground beef, you probably wouldn't even have to drain it if you're using mm -hmm. like a 93% lean. You'll see that at the market listed like a 93.7 sometimes, or you'll see an 80.20 sometimes. That first number is how lean it is. The second number is the percentage of fat. So a good burger comes from an 80.20, mm -hmm. but here you may want to go with one that's a little less fat. Now, I'll just drain it, and of course, we all know, because we've been cooking for 10,000 years, that we never drain fat into the sink ever, 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 because it will cool down and coat your pipes, and now you're going to have layers of fat building up in your pipes, and mm -hmm. unless you are having, you know, a thing within your plumber, lots of extra money, we always right. want to dispose of it really cleanly, so... Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm gonna throw these apples in, even though I'm still moving. Yeah, can, can you? When you get a second, yeah, when you get a second, can you bring? You want to see this it? Over to the, yeah, I want. I think yeah. that myself and our audience would be very interested to see. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> so sometimes I have a second camera, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's All okay. Right, so you can looks see what great. we got going there. Yeah, it looks good. Now, yeah. Now my burner will start squawking at me a little. <laughs> All right. Now, if you have a cinnamon stick, and I love cinnamon sticks. Of course, I have 43 million spices here. I couldn't find a darn cinnamon stick. That's okay. <laughs> you don't have to go buy them. But a cinnamon mm -hmm. stick is really fun because it does a really gentle infusion. Intense, but it does mm -hmm. it really well in the stew kind of thing. You always want to take that cinnamon stick out before... You right. serve it. Nobody's going to mm -hmm. gnaw on that. Right. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and add some ground cinnamon, not cinnamon sugar, but mm -hmm. some ground cinnamon. And I'm going to use a little uh, coriander. You could use a little cumin, too, mm -hmm. if you're feeling that vibe. Nice. And then really important to this dish are olives. And don't get fancy with your olives. This is not a fancy olive dish. This mm -hmm. is a dish where you're going to want to use like green olives with pimentos in them. And pimentos freak you out. I know some people are like, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, you can use whatever you like. I mean, listen, if yeah. you're making this in your own kitchen, do what you like. Mm -hmm. Do what exactly. you like to it. 
Mm -hmm. All right. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Don't forget, even though we get that a little tang from those olives, we do still want to add a little bit of salt, okay? Okay. There we go. A little salt, of course, a little pepper. And then I love a little bit of tang as I do my research on all this stuff. And I've been making this dish for years and years and years. Um, mm -hmm. I have started doing a little bit of red wine vinegar in it because just like a tablespoon, because it just gives it that little bit of a tang and it doesn't have to be fancy. It can be just whatever your generic red wine vinegar is. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. And I'm going to let this just cook for a minute. I want to make sure that ground beef is all browned. Oh, it's so good. This is so good. I have to babysit some kids this afternoon, some oh, of nice. our neighbor's kids. And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I know what we're eating. Nice. <laughs> so <laughs> once we get this cranking a little bit, mm -hmm. that's when I'm going to add some crushed tomatoes awesome all right so you can do if you still have tomatoes because my tomatoes i always plant them so late that mm -hmm. they go a little later um right. my tomatoes will um i'll use fresh no problem i don't peel them i just chop them and mm -hmm. throw those guys in awesome. and then we're gonna let that just simmer now that simmers about half an hour so guess what Time for the swap out. Here nice. we go. All right. So now I did some. I did some just a little bit ahead because mm -hmm. I wanted to cool it down to make these little cheater empanadas. Mm -hmm. And you can see color wise, I got a big difference here. Can you see mm -hmm. the red versus kind of the brown? Yeah, it and also the, the, the little, volume. Yeah, it gets a little yeah. caramelized. It's kind of mm -hmm. nice. Uh, you want to make sure you add your raisins in. Uh, and then I'll put some almonds in as well. I'm going to hold off there. And then check this out. These are the coolest. Now, listen, this is inauthentic. But mm -hmm. it is a great way, like I said, to do a nice cheat. Mm -hmm. I get roll-out pie crusts from mm -hmm. the grocery store. You'll find them in the... You'll find them like near the biscuits and all of right. that stuff. But if you've got the time to make an authentic dough, they're so simple. They're mm -hmm. melted lard and flour and salt and maybe a little water. But if you don't want to put that effort into it, check that out. Mm -hmm. Now, it has to be a rollout crust. It can't be an already made frozen pie crust because those just, uh, they're already set and shaped. Right. So check this out. I grabbed a lid. I have a a jar with a lid that I thought was the perfect size. And I think you would call these, and correct my pronunciation, but I think you would call this like an empan empanadita, like yeah, a little empan one. Yeah, empanadilla. Mm -hmm. Nice. I feel so proud. It's <laughs> I'm a little ridiculous. Yeah, no, right, you know, so you're, you're doing it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I just want to make sure I'm being super respectful. No, so it, got it, my... it, it means, so I was gonna say, it means everything that you're asking, though. And he's, he's, yeah. you're pretty close to saying it, too. So it's all good. Yeah. I'm so, so glad. When yeah. I used to go to this fantastic Venezuelan restaurant mm -hmm. uh, here in Frederick. They had the arepas, which mm -hmm. I love. And I think we've made them here before. And yeah. they had arepitas, uh, ditas, and yeah. they were like the little ones. And I the just loved ones. it. Mm -hmm. So, That's all right, best. so you're going to cut like four or five out. And if you are doing a pie crust, you can totally re-roll it. It's not puff pastry. Mm -hmm. And then we just take a little bit of the picadillo. Again, I'm going to freeze some of that. Um, and then I've got a little egg wash. So just a little mixture of egg, beaten egg, and a little bit of water. It's just our food glue here. And then mm -hmm. we kind of, let me do it sideways. So we just want to flip it. And then we want to seal it. Now, you can get as fancy as you want. My good PA upbringing would have me using a fork mm -hmm. to do it. But I'm actually just going to squish it nice. with my fingers because it's nice soft dough. And then our glue becomes our suntan lotion. And 
I would say after you brush this, we're going to use a 400 oven. You're really going to go 15, maybe 20 minutes to get it nice and brown. And you can mm -hmm. see oh, if nice. you do this, I did a good job, right? Yeah, you did. You did a good job. Yep. My, yeah. my, my grandma uses a fork too, by the way. Yeah, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. you never question a grandma. And right, then right. check this out. It goes in the oven. And oh, see, I told you the magic of wow. the. So really. they cook. It looks good. They're Golden pretty, brown. Right. Now I didn't fry them. I know mm -hmm. frying is essential if we're going all in on them. But mm -hmm. like I said, I'm trying to do a little healthier version here. And this is a great way to do it. And it, oh, it's good and it's flaky and it totally works. So I would say we're going to have that recipe up. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead. This freezes so well. Use what you're going to use. Mm -hmm. You could um, throw this in a pan, mash some plantains, Ooh. put that on top, uh, mm -hmm. maybe a little cheese, bake it if you wanted. Just That's serve it almost mm -hmm. like a chili. There you go. Right. And you can have like salsa to dip into it or whatever you want. Oh, awesome. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Something yummy. I have a load yeah. of tomatillos that somebody oh, gave me. Nice. Right? Yeah. So yeah. I you think I'm going to do a little something with them. Cool. Sure. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, I've, I've, a lot of local stores have really good tomatillo salsa too. So, yeah. but yeah, yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Just look for something green. Mm -hmm. Just look for something green and that the tomatillos will give it kind of an acidic kick, which right. is really nice. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Very, very good pairing for empanadillas or uh, chips. Or anything, anything that you kind of want to mix with it. Um, th awesome. Those look great, though. Can, can we get one last little look? Yeah, uh, yeah. Christine. Check this out. I got my Looks perfect great. little guy here nice. for girl. It's yeah. just an empanada. But yeah, yeah. It's an empanada. really flaky. What you <laughs> yeah. really want is just you want that flakiness. You right. know the mm -hmm. way your grandma makes them. Yeah, About yeah. You 15, want when you, when you take a bite out of it. Sorry, go ahead. You can you can taste it, taste the love, the granny yeah. love. Exactly. That's awesome. Well, th those look really good. I'm actually going to um, make sure that I copy down this um, recipe and also the recipe is going to be at the end of this video as well. So you guys can Fantastic. do that. Fantastic. Okay. Well, Christine, Fantastic. those look great. Thank you so much for your time. And um, I am so excited to give this one a try as well. Maybe I'll try it with my grandma herself to see what she thinks. No. About the apple no. And the stuff. <laughs> no, 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 no. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll try it together. It'll be fun. I like cooking with her, so it'll be okay. That's awesome. Well, thank you, That's thank you awesome. so much for your time, Christine. I hope the kids like what, what they're eating this afternoon too. 